I actually like um, I love Gabriel Iglesias. He's yeah, that's that's that's, that's, the, that's the other guy. guy. Okay, see, <laughs> my name is Luis Fernandez. I'm 23 years old. Originally from the Bronx, New York, but we moved to Ohio when I was in seventh, yeah, seventh grade, 2003. So I've been in Ohio since for like 10 years now. My mom is originally from Guatemala, and my dad is uh, from New York City, but he's Puerto Rican, so they met there. Guatemala and Puerto Rican, nice Caribbean mix. <laughs> I was raised uh, Roman Catholic. I grew up in a pretty religious family. I mean, you know, we went to church every Sunday. We, I went to Sunday school and like did the normal. I guess for Latinos, it's kind of a big deal when you're growing up as a Catholic. So like, I really didn't, you know, care too much about the religion. I was just you know, I was Catholic because I was Catholic, but I wasn't like, you know, gun ho or something. I don't know. I've been Muslim for five and a half years now. It was my freshman year of uh, university. I had met one of my really good friends back in high school, and she started teaching me about Islam. Well, she started teaching me Arabic, but, you know, Islam came somewhere in there. By the time I graduated high school, I, I was really set on majoring in Arabic and studying the language. and. Around that time is when she asked me to fast for Ramadan with her, and I was like, "Okay, sure, why not?" Like, I, I don't know why not, why I wouldn't. I started reading the Arabic Quran, and then I picked up the translation, and never read anything that felt like a personal conversation. So, um, and then a few months later, that's when I became Muslim. So, <laughs> I was very worried about about my family because you know, like I said, we weren't like you know, super religious, but we were, it was very important to us. We grew up in a, like, it meant, you know, everything to us. And uh, so I felt like, you know, are they going to, are they going to think I betrayed them? Are they going to think I, you know, I'm trying to leave, I, I want to become a terrorist? Or I, <laughs> I went home for a break and I didn't know you weren't supposed to pray in the bathroom. <laughs> I, didn't, I just didn't know you were supposed to, <laughs> I didn't know. And so, I, I would, for like a week, I'd pray in the bathroom, and I was like, okay, I should probably just tell my mom now. We went out for a walk down, uh, walking our dogs. We had two dogs, and we went walking uh, walking down the street. And when we hit the corner, I was just like, all right, mom, listen, I, uh, I'm i Muslim now. And she was like, what? And I was like, uh, I'm Muslim. And I was like, crap, I should have said anything. She thought I wanted to become Arab. She was like, oh, you know, you can do some of the things they do, but don't be them. And I was like, no, I don't want to be an Arab. Trust me, that's the last thing I want to be. I want to be Latino, but I want to be Muslim. And uh, so when I, I got to explaining it to her, I told her, you know, the differences. She said, well, if that's what you want, then, you know, I support you. And as long as you do good in school and you do, you know, you do well, then I support you. It was more my uh, <laughs> older sister, too, though. She... She was the real problem. <laughs> she, we used to get into arguments all the time. Like I was, I was like, this is a bad idea. I should have done this. I, it's if this is gonna break up my relationship with my older sister. We were really close, but like this is something that was really testing us. And uh, she thought I betrayed the religion. She thought I betrayed the family. She thought I was like gonna worship Alibaba and blow up things. And I was like, no. <laughs> I was trying to try my best to. You know, explain to her, but, <laughs> you know, it, it, stereotypes in America, you know, they're weird. You know, it took it took about a year and a half, two years for my sister and I to get, like, on good terms. But thank God, like, now it's been five and a half years. She she defends me when someone says something about Islam that's not true. She, or she'll ask me before she says anything. But for the most part, she'll, like, we're on good terms. Very, very good terms. How about your dad? Uh, well, my parents are divorced, and uh, yeah, I mean, he knows. This past summer, he, um, we, I hung out with him for the first time in like ten years, like for a month, and uh, he saw that I was praying and saw that I was, you know, like doing my best to be a good Muslim. He asked me how to pray, just so he can see and see how it makes him feel. I gave him a Quran because he asked me for one. I know he does read it sometimes, so you know. Thank God, ain't nothing, nothing too bad. <laughs>
you know, mix your culture into the religion. As long as like, as long as nothing in your culture goes past the religion, like you know, the balance, then there's no problem with it. And I, so like, I still hang out with my family. We still do all of our traditional things. I mean, I, I stay away from the things that are you know forbidden in Islam. But it's like, but I can do anything in in the culture and like the, that. And my family really likes that. They, I didn't just abandon everything. You know, I. I I changed religion, but I didn't change my identity.